So I thought I would um, make a video detailing my self-built 66-bit Minecraft calculator. Um, before this continues on, it's not finished. I built this around a year ago, and I never really got around to finishing it. But looking at it now, I kind of, I kind of want to finish it. So maybe I'll make a follow-up. But I felt like I need to make a video on this because. It's exam week, and I needed to just do something different, so I'll make a video on this. Anyway, this is a 66-bit calculator built entirely in Minecraft, um, and currently it only has the ability to just add numbers. I'm thinking about adding additional functionality to it, like subtraction and so on and so forth, and keypads and visual displays, as I've been working with outputs here, or neater number outputs instead of just outputting the results in binary but before i show you how it works i'm just going to go over lightly how it works so in minecraft you have the ability to create any logic gate that exists in the real world and you can see that here so you see all your logic gates and you can build them all in minecraft and what that means is that you can build pretty much any circuit that you can you can build in real life you can build in minecraft I mean, not everything, but most things. And so a popular example, that's at least that I see, is you can build full adders. And um, this is what a full adder looks like. This is a full adder module. It um, consists of some AND gates, um, I believe some OR gates, and some more stuff up here. So this, you know, it's not that bad. I think there's like five or six gates per adder. I forget. but. Each adder takes in two inputs, so uh, like an A input and a B input. And it also takes a carry in. And I'm going to get into what this is in a minute. And it also has a carry out, which is this wire right here. So it takes in two inputs, A input and B input. I believe this is the A and this is the B. I'm pretty sure. But it doesn't matter. Either one of the A and the B. It takes in the inputs. It does some arithmetic using the logic gates. And if, for example, both of these are 1, right, so 1 plus 1, that's going to equal 2. But this only has one output, so how do you represent 2? Well, if both of these are high, it's going to send a 1 out of the carryout and bring it into the carry-in of the next adding module and flip this one to high. So it equals a 2. So I think... I don't know if this will mess anything up if I manually put these to high. Alright, there you go. So as you can see, 1 plus 1 is going to give you 2. So it's going to bring it to the carry out, send it to the carry in of this one, and there you go. So I'm going to better demonstrate this at the commanding module. And it looks really clutterful. I mean, it's not like anything too crazy. I'm not like great at redstone. These are just a bunch of adder modules that are all connected to one another. Their carry outs going to the carry ins bunch of A and B inputs, and their outputs haven't been wired. Only two outputs have been wired. That's where I left off was this output and this output. So it's, it can only represent 0 to 3. But here you can input everything, and like I said, there's no keypads. It's just binary. I kind of like the, the levers. I even put the decimal representation. So as you can see, <laughs> this thing can technically add up massive numbers. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to toggle a bunch of switches to do what you want. But anyway, so let's say I want to get the results three. I want to, I want to get three. So I, if I want three, this is the output, by the way. And these are two outputs. So if I want three, then I need this to be high and this to be high. So I'm going to do two plus one. So I'm going to toggle two on the A input. And so it's going to send a signal all the way back there. And I'm going to toggle this one. And both of these will be turned on, or at least they should be. And there you go. 1 plus 2, this is binary, that's 3. So I just 1 plus 2 over there, and we get 3 in the output. And technically, I can add more. So if I wanted to do um, 4 plus 4 instead, you won't see it on this side because I don't have those outputs wired up, but these will both go away. Because um, 4 plus 4 is 8. But we can see the output in the adder module. So this would be 
should be one of these. Here it is. So this is representative of the number eight. And you would wire that up as an output and send it back to rep, you know, the light that would represent eight. So here. So as you can see, it is on. So all the other outputs should be off. So that's off, that's off. And all these other outputs are also off. Very well. Kind of hard to see them. But that one's off. Because this is the output. This is the output right here. This is the output wire. This is off. Everything else is off. I can go all the way back here. <laughs> and all the outputs are all off. Except for this single lamp. This single lamp. Right. Or well, not single lamp. But this single wire is the only output that's being pulled high. Because that would equal 8. And you can also add by zero, um, for example. So if I wanted to do, let's see here, or well, I can add, for example, three. I can just do three plus zero, so I can just do one and two. So three, and both of these should go high. And there you go. Now it takes a little bit because all that signal has got to travel over there. And then you get your result. So pretty cool stuff, like I said. I didn't get to finish this, so it's not complete, of course, but you get the idea.